I'm Dr. Larry Bush, a specialist in infectious diseases and the president of the Palm Beach County Medical Society, a society comprised of over 1,500 physicians, both actively practicing and retired, and supported by a dedicated and knowledgeable staff. We're here to give you a message that we hope that you will take seriously. So you're going to hear from a diverse group of physicians who make up our society, all of whom come from different backgrounds and in different specialties, but all of us putting together a common message. And that message is that each and every one of us has a role we can play and a responsibility in doing what we can to bring the COVID-19 pandemic to as rapid a conclusion as possible. Now, I know that all of us have heard opinions about things that may or may not be protective and prevent the spread of infection. The major message we've been hearing is that masks may or may not be protective. In medicine, just like in all parts of life, there are those who have opinion and there are those who buy by the facts. And the fact of the matter is that respiratory diseases, of which COVID-19 is one, are definitely transmitted by respiratory secretions. And putting a shield or a mask or a face covering between you and people in front of you clearly cuts down contagiousness, along with common sense social distancing and hand hygiene or would have been proven to be effective in stopping pandemics. Both it was noticed with TB in the early epidemics. It was also what stopped the Spanish flu. And more recently, it's what brought SARS and MERS, two prior coronavirus pandemics, to a quick end before there was great amounts of morbidity and mortality. So we're asking everybody to keep in mind these simple measures that we all can do and should do. And as Robert F. Kennedy said in 1968, if not us who, if not now, when? Thank you. Hello, I am Klepper D. Almeida, an internal medicine and infectious disease physician and a member of the board of the Palm Beach County Medical Society. First and foremost, there's a shortage of trained healthcare workers. Today, our nurses and doctors are stressed, but they're hanging in there. If this surge continues, they'll be overwhelmed. Second, the medicines needed to treat patients with COVID-19 will be depleted. We are working hard to manage a limited supply. Already, we face shortages of convalescent plasma and drugs like remdesivir. Third, if this surge rages on, we'll be out of space in our hospitals and ICUs, and patients will have to be cared for in alternative sites. Once our healthcare system is overwhelmed, the best possible care can no longer be provided to each patient. Terrible decisions will have to be made about who receives care and who does not. None of us in the medical community want to be forced to make those decisions. About 3,000 people lost their lives on 9-11, and it is considered one of our most tragic days. The death count in Florida is already over 5,300, with over 700 of them in Palm Beach County. If the pandemic continues unabated, we'll surpass New York's body count of over 31,000. Hello, my name is Jim Heron. I am an internal medicine physician practicing with the medical specialists of the Palm Beaches and a member of the Palm Beach Medical Society and Medical Society Services. Together, our physicians and HERC, which is our Healthcare Emergency Response Coalition, have an urgent message today for our community. Palm Beach County is now experiencing a dangerous surge in COVID-19 that just a little over a month ago we had hoped we could avoid. In June, we were seeing 350 to 400 new cases per day. In just one month, this number has spiked and now we're seeing an average of 764 new cases every single day. COVID-19 hospitalizations have also more than doubled from 304 patients on June 9th to now over 682 patients as of July 20th. This spring, we proved we could control the spread of the virus. For several weeks, we flattened the curve and every COVID-19 patient received the best possible care. Now our situation is much more serious than it was because many more people are carrying the virus and many more people are getting sick. To make matters worse, today's surge is the result of viral transmission that occurred two to four weeks ago. Even as we take action now, it will take time to see a positive change. 
This is much like trying to stop a train or turn a cruise ship. Back in 1912, a cruise ship called the RMS Titanic entered an area of the North Atlantic called Iceberg Alley. Rather than slowing down, the captain continued to steam forward at a high speed. Action was taken only when it was obvious that the iceberg lay dead ahead. But by that time, the crew's efforts to slow the ship were futile, and we all know what happened next. If the COVID-19 hospitalizations continue to double at our current rate, our healthcare system's capacity to care for these patients will be exceeded. Hello, I'm Dr. Ivy Fask. I'm a pediatrician and the president of Palm Beach County Medical Society Services. Palm Beach County is heading towards a viral iceberg, but we can slow down and we can change course, but we must do this now. We must wear our masks. We must practice distancing from other people. We must wash our hands frequently, cover our coughs, keep our hands away from our faces. We must reduce our social and recreational activities with others. We don't know how long this may go on, but we can do this. We must. Please cover your mouth when you cough. I'm Dr. Greg Golden, radiation oncologist, Boca Raton, Florida. Please refrain from touching your face. I'm Dr. Brent Schoenger, dermatologist in Delray Beach.